The Canal and River Trust and the Environment Agency welcome you to our waterways. This film is all about protecting the environment when you're out boating on our canals and rivers. First of all, keep your speed down so you don't create a breaking wash. This can damage waterway structures and disturb fish and other wildlife. Go very slow when you pass nesting water birds. Never dump rubbish, toilet waste or oily bilge water back into the waterway or onto the bank. If you have an oil leak, remove oil from your bilge by placing absorbent pads or rolls into it so oily water doesn't get pumped out. You can dispose of used pads at most marinas and household waste recycling sites. Make sure you get any leaks sorted as soon as possible. Use low phosphate detergents and avoid bleach or other aggressive cleaning products in your boat. Remember, the waste water from your sink and shower empties into the waterway. Sometimes when it's warm and there are lots of nutrients in the water, for example through fertilizer that has been washed off the land, algae can appear. These can be of the notorious blue-green type. Blue-green algae usually appears as greenish-blue streaks on the water. Algae can be toxic to anything that touches the water, including dogs and humans. This can cause stomach problems and skin rashes. Blue-green algae is even known to have caused dog fatalities. Make sure you use the bins provided to dispose of any rubbish or take it with you. Don't just leave rubbish behind. If everyone took their litter home and picked up just one piece of plastic each time they visited, our waterways could be litter-free within a year. During your travels, you may encounter non-native and invasive species in and around our waterways. These can threaten the native wildlife and damage waterway structures. It is a criminal offence to spread invasive species in our waters. Apps such as Google Lens can help identify any species you encounter on your trip. If you come across a non-native one, such as zebra mussels, the American signal crayfish or giant hogweed, don't pick them up or move them. Help prevent the spread of invasive species by practicing check, clean, dry. First, check your equipment, boat and clothing for mud, aquatic animals or plant material. Remove everything that you find and leave it at the site. Then, clean everything thoroughly as soon as you can, using hot water if possible. Finally, dry anything that can be taken out of the water, such as ropes and fenders, before using them elsewhere. Some invasive animals and plants can survive for more than two weeks in damp conditions. And lastly, many boats rely on solid fuel stoves for heating. Please only use smokeless fuels or fully dried wood to help reduce harmful emissions. Some rivers and canals run through smoke control areas, so look out for signs. In these areas, you must use smokeless fuels and only emit smoke for up to 15 minutes while you are starting your fire. Don't cut down trees next to the waterways. It damages the environment and the wood is not suitable for burning until it has dried. You may see piles of wood we have cut down while maintaining the waterways. These are for wildlife to live in, so please leave them for bugs and beasts to use. If you witness an environmental incident or pollution, please contact the Environment Agency Incident Hotline on 0800 80 70 60. The location or GPS information will be very helpful. Pictures or videos can also help the Environment Agency with their investigation. Sometimes it can be hard to know your precise location. It's helpful to download the What Three Words app. The app will give you a precise three-word code, which emergency services can use to locate you within a 3-metre by 3-metre area. 
You can also report pollution by contacting the Canal and River Trust free phone number 0800 47 999 47 or via our incident reporting form on the Trust's website canalrivertrust.org.uk forward slash contact us. More information about protecting the environment while boating can be found online at thegreenblue.org.uk or in the Boater's Handbook and Green Guide to Inland Boating.